Okay, I am making a knockoff of the Marzetti's coleslaw dressing, which is found in the dairy section, kind of by the salad dressings, produce aisle of the grocery store. So this is the knockoff. And here's what I've got. little of this goes a long way, by the way. It's very good. So I got a quarter cup of sugar. I have a quarter cup of white vinegar. I'm just going to whisk this until this is, until the sugar is dissolved. You want to dissolve that sugar. Okay, our sugar is all dissolved. Next, what I'm going to put in is a quarter cup of sour cream. I'm also going to put in one cup of mayonnaise. This is real mayonnaise. All right. Get all of our goodness off of our spoon. Now we're going to whisk this. It's not too sweet. It's got some nice tang to it. It's very good. Okay, I am going to put this into a container here so it's easy to pour out. It's got a little spout on it. Spatula here, and hope I don't spill. I got this container at the dollar store. I absolutely love the dollar store. Kind of watch what you buy there. Oops, of course I dribbled off to the side. Okay. Let's wipe up our mess, which I'm always making a mess. Everything I do is a mess. Okay. That's it. Screw my lid on. There's my coleslaw dressing. Okay, I shredded up some cabbage here. I'm going to go ahead and put some of my dressing on. Remember I said you don't need much of this. So I'm just going to start off with, that's probably, oh, maybe about a quarter of a cup. And I'm going to start mixing. The more you mix it, the more it gets absorbed in there. Do a lot of mixing with this homemade slaw dressing. It takes a while to get it all mixed in. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more. Probably about the same amount that I added before, just, there we go. So I'm mixing this up early because sometimes as it sits in the refrigerator, it changes a little bit, so this is looking pretty good. I'm just going to try a little strand. 
You know, it almost tastes like it's not, doesn't have enough on there, but I said it changes after it sits on your slaw. So when you use this, you want to mix this up a little bit before, because so now, now when I come back like in a half hour, this might be plenty. I don't want, I don't want it coated too much, so... I'm not trying to drown to my coleslaw. I want each strand lightly coated. That's what I'm looking for. 